Okay, today I'm gonna show you the most broken builds on Paladins. Let's start off with uh, Tyra. Hunting party with this build. You basically gonna mark Sky when she's invincible and you allies and yourself can do more damage to the market ally. This build is just so broke right now and you need to try it out. For Sati, you can choose whatever you like on the talents, but you wanna go for this build here. Just throw your coin and get ult charge super quick. Buying morale boost, you just gonna get ult charge so much quicker. Basically, you spam ult with this build, so try it out, because it's broke. If you really wanna spam ult charge, then try out the build for Victor. Get sharp null and get full colon on the grenade and you can get all charged so, so fast by hitting multiple enemies with your grenade. It's just so broke and I recommend you try it out. If you really want to be annoying on the point, try a Betty build with fear disposition with either of these two builds. More area damage or more damage to their shields or deployables with your right click. Very broke, and I recommend you try it out. Okay, let's go to the flanks. For Sky, you go for Depilitate with this build right here. Full cooldown on the poison balls, a lot of moon speed, duration, ammo, very broke to try out, of course. Talus, you go for Inner Strength to first Ember gain. Here is two different builds for that. A lot of healing or a lot of moon speed. You choose whatever depending on situation. For Sin we have two builds for either Smolder or Zekolotin depending on situation. More moon speed when you are uh, in Smolder or more uh, cooldown on the block which is very broke. That's up to you. For Kaga we have a build for Adrenaline Junkie. And that is this one, a lot of healing, a lot of ammo back, very broke, try it out. We also have a build for Lex, go for yeah. Discovery and just go for full life steal with it and you can't die. And yeah, you're just super annoying flank with the Hunted. The Hunted is just so broke right now and you just gotta have to play before it gets nerfed. For Moji, you either go for whatever you like, and you pick this build right here. Full of health with a lot of lifesteal. Very broke. When it comes to war, you pick whatever, but go for this build right here. You choose whatever you like, but always have sharp resolve on level 5. Just so you know. Alright, have a build from Maeve, depending on if you go for Street Justice or Rogus Campit. Here's a build for that. Shred, on edge, and gaze, and persistence. If you don't like persistence, you can do whatever, but I like to have some protection on my body. Alright, I also have a build for Seven right there. We have Spring Lollet or Tribunal Upgrade build, depending on the situation. We have uh, more radius on the bombs with some pull strength, or you can go for more reload with a lot of health. That's up to you. We have a build for Vato too, you choose whatever, but you can either go for Old Charge with uh, uh, Shadow Bomb, Cooldown and damage Reduction, or you can either go for more Radius with the Teleportation. Alright, for the front lines we have a few, Torvald is very annoying, you wanna go for Tanks Grandpa or Direct Current, depending on situation. This one for colon on the right click, or this one for being supportive. I have a tip for you when you play Torvald. So, always stay beside your support when you play Torvald, because as long as you're staying with your support, you're basically not gonna lose the games you're playing in. So keep that in mind when you play Torvald. Okay. So, let Inara, Mother's Craze, or Treasure's Ground. We have uh, this one here for Treasure's Ground and this one for Mother's Grace. I like Summit because I like to fly up into the air, but you can choose whatever you like. 
Like you can go for Rolling Stones, because that one is very good for Nara, if you have good teamwork that is. But I like to go for Sumi, because that one is just very broke. Okay, we also have a build for Azan that is very broke. You want to go for Persistence with this one right here. You're not gonna die as long as you spam your abilities. Very broke. Alright. That's uh, very good. We also have a build for Nyx if you go off tank with her. You wanna go for either Show of Force or Abyssal Breach. I like Abyssal Breach. So you can either go for more damage on the area. Or you can go for move movement speed. That's up to you to decide. But I like to go for this one more because I like to be more speedy with her. Alright, we also have uh, very strong builds for the supports. Fioria. You choose either Solar Blessing or Cherish or whatever. And you can either go for this one for Cherish or this one for either of the Solar builds. Okay, we have two builds for Genos and as a Genos main I recommend you do not do not pick Pinar Star because it's like his passive weapon but with low fire rate and ammo so do not pick that. But you either want to go for Luminary and the Parkos Man. Here's a Parkos Man build and here's a Luminary build. Always have Astral Circle on level 5, so keep that in mind. Okay, we have a build for Ayo because she can be a very good annoying support sometimes. Do never go for Goddess Blessing because that one is kinda not good if you don't use her the right hand of course but I always go for live link and sacrifice here's the build for sacrifice very annoying with cooldown uh, to have two jumps which gives you more shield on the full moon a lot of health of course because you wanna be an aggressive support with her if you go for more supporter playstyle this is the right build for her more speed more moonlight healing and this two here is good on level 1 and yes that looks good we also have a build for Ceres because Ceres can be hella annoying if she becomes a aggressive uh, support Soul Collector has to build for that very aggressive playstyle right there if you don't like Dark Whisperer you can go for Ban because that one can also be very broke but that's up to you to decide if you like that or not and we also have a and we also have like, it's not annoying, but it's a more supportive playstyle for Ceres. We have an annoying playstyle for Ray actually. Restraint or Focus. Here's the build for that. Midnight Stroll, Mastic Mastery Envelope. This is a very annoying build if she goes for damage support. And if you want to be more supportive, you go for this one right here. But this one is just hell annoying if she goes for damage support. Uh, yeah, that uh, is basically it. Those are the most broken builds on Paladins. I recommend you try it out because as far as I've been playing Paladins for a long time, those are the most broken builds you can uh, play with. And yeah, since I'm gonna show you one more character that I recommend you wanna try out. And that is Octavia. <laughs> Octavia. The build I like to go for Hell or High Water, and this is the best build I will recommend for you to try out. Because in my opinion this build is broke if you play Octavia aggressively with Hell or High Water. So try this build out. Because I main Octavia a lot. And I have won like a lot of matches with her already. And yeah, that's basically it. If you like this video and want to see more like this, then make sure to drop the like button and subscribe and try out the most broken builds I've showed you right now. Thanks for watching and I hope I will see you next time. Goodbye.